Hello, good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I'm going to do a very beginner's uh, DAX video. I've been requested to do this video quite many times and also it's one of the most, or uh, I don't know exactly, one of the most search, but it's a very common search uh, done on Google regarding DAX. And I guess this is a very common uh, question for Excel users starting in DAX. So I thought I would do a video about it and hopefully it will help people get started with the most common uh, questions that you can ask to a data set. So sum if and count if. I will basically demonstrate sum if because count if is done the same way at the lowest level at least, so the easiest um, examples. So uh, without any more delay, let's begin. So here we are in uh, Power BI and I am using the North Wind data set that I always use. This is a data source that is available online for free so you can just consume and test and play with um, with DAX. I have a video showing how to get data for this uh, data source so I will link down below so you can use it, okay? So what we're going to do in today's video is actually do a series of some ifs. And there is a very common requirement and perhaps a very common um, calculation in Excel. And when you come into BI, you're actually doing a lot of count if and some ifs. So what we have here is a we're going to use two tables. We have, well, we're actually going to use three tables. We have the order details. We have products and we have dates. So we have a calendar, nothing strange with that, normal calendar. We have order details and here we have order IDs and total sales, unit price discount, and then products. This is just a, a table that contains information about the products that the North Wind company is selling. Okay. So the first question we want to know is what is the total sales for, um, for example, I don't know, this is a, you know, the data set contains only years from 96, 97 and 98. So let's say that we want to know the sales for 1996. So basically some the total sales if year is 1996. So how do we do that in DAX? What we will do is we're going to create a new measure and then some, let's give it a proper name, some if 1996. And what you do for this sum if account if is you just calculate. And I have two other videos on calculate I will link down below so you can do like a deeper tutorial or analysis on that and what calculate is and how it works. But what we're what you need to know now as a beginner is you use calculate and then you do the sum as you would do in Excel. So this is the sum of total sales. I already have a measure that does the sum of total sales, but just to make it clear, so this will calculate the sum of the sales and now what we want to do is to tell Power BI that we just want the, the year. And we want the year to be 1996. Now, as you can see here, year is a text on this um, calendar. So for that, I have to put quotes on it, otherwise it won't work. But if you have years as, as number, just leave it without quotes, okay? So enter. And if we've made this right, in 1996, we have 40,980, I don't know what it is, dollars perhaps. It's a Microsoft data set. So we put this in there. And this is exactly what we get, you see, 14,980. Now, if you are new to DAX, you would be perhaps surprised that you're actually getting the same number everywhere. And the reason for that is basically you've told 
this measure that no matter what filter is applied, you just want 1996, you say it here. So it will give you the same value for all years. It's not very intuitive, but this is the way it works. Again, go to calculate a tutorial to see and to uh, learn more about this behavior. But it's actually giving us the right uh, amount of sales. And this is useful in other cases. Okay, so even if it's perhaps not what you wanted to have here, it's definitely useful for other scenarios. So what else can we do? Let's say that we want to calculate the sum of all the three years to make percentages, for example. So you want to calculate the sum of total sales if the year is all years, 1996, 7, and 8. How do you do that? Go there, and then sum all years. And then again, calculate. I will continue doing that so you see what is going on. So you calculate the sum of the total sales, and now you use the function uh, all and then year. So what this little function does is basically it tells Power Pivot to say, ignore any filter on year and just give me a total sales. So if I put this in here, what do you think I would get as a result? Just think for a while before you continue and then, you know, pause the video, come back when you think you know the answer and check if you had right. Don't worry if you didn't, if you're new in DAX, this is a normal thing. I mean, if you come from the Excel world, it's difficult to guess what it should be. But if you're back, I'm actually putting this in there again. And as you can see, I'm getting the total number for all years. Okay, because it's ignoring the year filter is basically giving us the total no matter what. So here's a way to calculate some if. Now, what happens if we want to calculate the sum of um, a specific product? So, queso cabrales. This is my favorite cheese in the world from Asturias. I talk about it in another video. I think it's a calculate video. Um, but we're going to calculate the sum if it is Queso cabrales. Queso is cheese. It's blue cheese, actually, from the region where I come from in Asturias. So what we do is we do a calculate, and again, sum, and then the total sales. And now what we say is that the product name is equal to queso Cabrales. And here we have a table that tells us total sales for the dairy products. And here we have queso cabrales. So now again, pause the video, think what would happen when I put this in there and see if you're right when you come back. Okay, so let's put it in there. And perhaps you already guessed it that what we get is, you see, queso cabral is 12,000. This is what you get in here. So it's again ignoring any other product and just giving us the same. I recommend you to watch the calculate videos, the old video, and the filter videos to get a little bit more understanding of what's going on in these calculations and how you can actually. Uh, make sure that only the right things show up. But uh, as an introduction, uh, you know you know how to calculate it, some if of things. And I could stay here and do like a thousand some ifs. There are so many cases and like from very easy like these ones to very complicated. So you can do amazing thing with tax. Make sure you learn it. Okay. 
So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you are new to Curval, you're new to DAX, I actually publish these type of videos every Friday. So make sure you subscribe for them. I also publish other type of videos like yeah, Power Query language or you know tips and tricks uh, on Mondays and Friday. No, Wednesdays. Fridays is just for DAX. So yeah. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell to receive notifications when I publish a new video and uh, like the video to let me know that you enjoy it so I continue doing more. Have a great, great Friday, have an amazing weekend and I see you again on Monday. Bye.